Well, this is going to be interesting and I am going to get straight down to business. I have in my hands a statement from the Judicial Conduct Investigations Office in relation to a deputy district judge named as Dinshaw Printer. Now, it appears that Deputy District Judge Printer has been a judge for well over a decade and in 2020 he joined a law firm as head of their family law department. On his appointment, the law firm spokesman reportedly said, Dinshaw is a huge addition to our team. He is an approachable, no-nonsense, hands-on lawyer who gets good results through friendly but firm negotiating skills and his experience as a family law arbitrator and deputy district judge gives him exceptional insight into how cases are approached. I'm personally delighted to have him on board. Hmm. Well then, let's see what deputy district judge printer has been up to. And this seems to stem from his own personal life in his own finances in divorce proceedings. The statement of misconduct is dated the 9th of August 2024 and it reads as follows. A spokesperson for the Judicial Conduct Investigations Office said the Lady Chief Justice has with the Lord Chancellor's agreement issued Deputy District Judge Dinshaw Printer with a formal warning for misconduct. The facts. The Guide to Judicial Conduct reminds judges to manage their financial affairs in a prudent manner. They should ensure that their conduct maintains public confidence in the judiciary. Mm -mm. The JCIO received two complaints about Deputy District Judges Printer's conduct which alleged that DDJ Printer had managed his matrimonial finances in a way that called his integrity into a question and that he had failed to disclose a material change to his financial position during court proceedings. Oh. DDJ Printer's presentations. DDJ Printer denied the majority of the allegations but accepted that he had signed documents in his then wife's name and that he had failed to update the court. The matter was referred to an investigating judge. The investigating judge's findings. Following an investigation carried out under the judicial conduct, judicial and other office holders, Rules 2014, the investigating judge dismissed the majority of the allegations. However, they found that DDJ Printer had signed financial documents on behalf of his then wife. While well, finding that there was no evidence that he had attempted to defraud anyone, the investigating judge found that the action amounted to misconduct. Furthermore, they found that DDJ Printer had deliberately failed to disclose a material alteration to his financial position during court proceedings. Whilst accepting that DDJ Printer did update the court before the final deadline, that this was not an attempt to hide assets and the delay in disclosure would not affect the final decision, the investigating judge considered that his action amounted to misconduct. Decision. The Lady Chief Justice and Lord Chancellor agreed with the investigating judge's recommendations. Goodness me, that doesn't sound very good, does it? I obviously don't know the context around the misconduct, but signing documents in his then wife's name, really? I mean, really? And failing to update the court, really? What do you think about that? Now let me put this out there as an open question. Should DDJ Printer still be a district judge? I can't find anything that suggests that he has stepped down or was dismissed. 
Can you imagine a judge overseeing your financial matters with this or similar kinds of misconduct? Look, don't worry if you don't want to update the court with your information and disclosures. I wouldn't if I were you. In fact, I didn't disclose a material change to my financial position when I went through my own divorce. So that's absolutely tickety-boo. After all, they are only court orders and rules. No need to follow them. Oh, and whilst you're at it, you might as well sign any, any documents you want to in your wife's name. If it helps your case, that is absolutely fine by me. In fact, when I went through my divorce, I signed documents in my ex-wife's name. No bother about that at all. Sorry, what did you ask? Is it a matter of personal integrity? No, I don't think so. Who cares about integrity anyway? I mean, you don't need personal integrity to be a deputy district judge or to be head of a family law firm. Personal integrity is overrated in my books. So let's just get on with the case. Has anyone got any documents that they would like me to sign in another person's name? Honestly, what the fuck? The family court is a big enough dystopian shit show as it is without judges like this. And if Printer is still a deputy district judge, would I want him to preside over my family court case? I don't think so. In my mind, he's not fit to hold that office. So what do you think? Leave some comments and hit that subscribe button. I'm Phil Kedge, the director of the Mackenzie Friends UK Network, and in all of my vlogs, my views and opinions are, of course, entirely my own. For all of your family court needs, contact me today at contactphil.co.uk. Until next time, stay strong.